Dear audience, welcome to Nusfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. Today's news analysis, I am Mirun Getacho. Stay with us. What is the role of foreign powers in Sudan's conflict? The conflict in Sudan has been ongoing for many years and has involved various parties with different interests and motivations. The current conflict began on April 15, 2023, when clashes broke out between rival functions of the military government of Sudan. The fighting has been concentrated around the capital city of Khartoum and the Darfur region. As of May 27, 2023, at least 1,800 people had been killed and more than 5,100 others had been injured. The history of conflicts in Sudan has consisted of foreign invasion and resistance, ethnic tensions, religious disputes, and competition over resources. International parties have imposed sanctions on companies accused of fueling the conflict in Sudan. The 2023 Sudan Humanitarian Response Plan has been revised due to the soaring needs triggered by the current crisis in the country. The current situation in Sudan is complex and filled. The country has been in the midst of a political crisis since long-serving role Omar al-Bashir was overthrown in April 2019. The military and pro-democracy movement have been locked in a threshold for power that has led to mass protests and killings. The security forces have used dirt forests to strengthen the position of the generals. Forces loyal to rival generals are battling for control of the resource-rich North African nation. The ongoing conflict has left hundreds of people dead, thousands more wounded, and hundreds of thousands displaced. These fires have been regularly broken. These fires have been regularly broken. The United Nations has called for an immediate end to the violence and for all parties to engage in dialogue to resolve their differences peacefully. The situation remains violent and unpredictable. The conflict in Sudan has attracted the attention of several foreign powers for influence in the country. Major geopolitical dimensions are at play, with Russia, the US, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and other powers battling for influence in Sudan. Some foreign powers have picked sides and even delivered weapons to the warning factions, weakening Sudan's pro-democracy forces and helping tilt the country toward war by bolstering the military revolts now fighting the United States and Britain have attempted to stir the country's political future. Moscow has become close to finalizing a deal about a base with Sudan's military government. The conflict in Sudan has had a devastating impact on civilians. Since 2003, civilians in Sudan have been subjected to extreme violence following attacks by armed opposition groups. Sudanese government forces responded by targeting not only the fighters but also civilians, the population of the certain ethnic groups that the government accused of supporting the insurgents. The civil war in South Sudan has killed thousands of people and displaced millions, with many health facilities destroyed and children suffering from acute malnutrition. The conflict has also led to many Sudanese flee their homes and increased disaffection with the government's policy and economic conscience. The escalating violence over the past month in Sudan had a catastrophic impact on civilians, leading to dry human situation. Hundreds have lost their lives, and over 1,000 men and women and children have been injured since 15 April. This situation is dry and requires urgent attention. And this was our news analysis for daily. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.